Welcome to Movie Bitches. Bitches, episode 272. Tonight we're reviewing The Menu. But first things first, shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you ad-free early access. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties. Second things second, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink. Go to trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine. And third things third, make sure to subscribe, share, whole. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, on Letterboxd. Yes. Uh, give us a little thumbs up. Comment, did you watch the menu? We'll talk about it. I didn't love this movie. I didn't love it. Okay. I liked it. And there was moments I really liked. Yes. Um, a lot. Yeah. Like, a lot. Yeah. And so, it didn't help two things. Okay. This was the third of the eat the rich movies that I saw in the course of you know, the last three sure. months or whatever. And I was like, oh, dear God. Like, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, um, quick. Sorry to cut you off. Sorry. Quick, you know, PSA or whatever. Right, right. This is part of our TIFF series. If you want to, please check out the TIFF playlist that we have of all the other movies right, that we watched right. at TIFF 2022. Of course. Of course. Because um, Cause there were two others. Triangle of Sadness and Glass Onion, yeah. A Knives Out Mystery. So I was just inundated with this. And I was like, honestly, just go watch The Exterminating Angel, the Boonwell movie. Oh. Much more like just wacky, schmacky, um, surreal, off the wall movie about you know dining with the rich and um, and their. Have, you haven't seen it? No. Oh my god, that's great. Cool. So yes, go watch the Exterminating Angel. But also, um, I did like the menu. So I was talking to Rick. Okay. He really, really, really liked this movie. A resident shark expert. Resident shark expert. Rick. I was sad they didn't have sharks in that lagoon that they were fishing for scallops because sure. honestly, that would have been. Out there right now, we are harvesting scallops. You'll eat them tonight. No, get out. Oh, oh shoot. Quite. Yeah, quite. You can't thin. leave the island. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted them to have more endangered species on the island. Ooh, anyway, sure. he really, really quite liked it. And okay. I was like, oh, yeah, I liked a lot about it. Um, I wish it had gone further somehow. Me too. Right? Me too. And he was like, oh, I bet that's because you're in LA and this feels semi-normal. And I was like, you know what? It kind of does. Yeah. Like it wasn't that, I mean, of course there's things in this that are insane, but like the, all of the f the absurd food stuff to me was like, yeah, that's, that's what, not that I'm going to crazy restaurants all the time, but it was just, it felt, it didn't feel as exaggerated no. perhaps to a different audience. I didn't think it was exaggerated at all. I know, and I don't think it it was trying to be... I mean, it was, obviously. Like, you know, it's not fully a cult, but although, like, I mean, I feel like this movie... Sorry to cut you off. No, no, so I'm just saying I think this might play bigger and better to a, to a different audience with a different perspective. Fair. I feel like this movie really was coming for uh, the chef. I forget his name. There's a restaurant in LA called Vespertine mm -hmm. that is like six or seven hundred dollars a person before the wine pairing and whatever. And it's in this really weird building in Culver City. Okay. And the entire menu was supposed to be otherworldly. Like nothing was supposed to be familiar. Everything was supposed to okay. seem so like something you've never like, seen I before. Think... And he created an entire soundtrack. <laughs> I've never been, obviously. Like, I was not spending that kind of money. I would have gone if someone took me, but like, I read about it. Happy for the invite. Yeah. Yes, fully. That's what I mean when I feel like we're like, and? Well, and, <laughs> and bit, just he's like super crazy, intense, let's say. He's super intense. Of course, chefs are notoriously. Yeah, notoriously. Um, Four star chefs are fucking crazy. <laughs> And they're preparing food. There's something so beautiful about clinically insane people. Like the level of OCD where it's like, see how all my shoes are facing uh, southwest? You're like, I, uh, it keeps the goblins asleep. Okay. 
and him in particular, he's very like OCD and meticulous. He had requirements for like the shoes that the servers were wear. He's been sued by a bunch of them because they like people had sustained injuries from being on their feet so often or whatever in stuff that like were not supportive for their back or you know oh my God. it was like and he insisted that they wear them and apparently I did I know someone that went and everyone talked like this and they would cover their mouth like, they would literally tell you what like the, this yeah they would say so tonight we have a thing for you and it's gonna be like, and they'd be like what and, so what tonight if, for you I feel a, like having you know recently experienced a pandemic. Um, I never realized how much I rely on a certain amount of lip reading. Sure. To um, fully, especially in a noisy restaurant. To fully encapsulate um, what someone's saying. Yeah. So that seems wild. To it me. seems wild, especially then if you ask them, "Huh?" and then they repeat it again in the same. Time. And you're like, "What? Like, who's doing what?" It's almost like, sometimes it's like literally antagonistic choices, right? Right, 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 right. Um, and so I appreciate that point of view. I just still wish that this movie went further with its point. I don't know what this movie was trying to tell me. I think it was just aping on the food, the insane celebrity chef, sure. absurd food culture, perfection. Um, are we even enjoying the food anymore? It's more about right. presentation and the experience and like I'm paying to say I went there and not right. to really eat the food. That's why I kind of liked it um, or thought it was a little more focused. It was just doing that. It wasn't also trying to do, and this greater social commentary, and this and that, it was literally just, and this thing. Right. Um, I guess I just, I was cloudy on Ra uh, Ray Fine's, um Well, I mean. Motivation? He just lost it. He just lost it. Four star chefs are fucking crazy. <laughs> He was like, I've had it. These people are he all corrupt and they're terrible and I hate them. And, and so I'm going to kill them all. Systematically planned this, yeah. you know, this uh, event, the ultimate menu. Yeah. Um, and now I what was his beef with not Nick? Nicholas Holt? Nicholas Holt. Thank you. Just no backbone, obsessed with him. Spineless. Wait, I can't, okay. Would be willing to take a guest. I think the ultimate thing was because you had to, you couldn't. Okay, um, spoiler alert. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I think you could go watch the menu. Oh, yeah, it's fully watchable. It's, um, there's lots of really absurd, funny things and great performances. Yes. And there's a lot in there and I liked it a lot and yes. it wasn't too long. No. Oh, my God. Um, but spoiler alert. Yes. Uh, Nicholas Holt is going there and at first we think he's going with his girlfriend. Right. We then start to realize, oh, wait, they don't seem to be together. And then we start to... You know, we get to the check-in. That's not my name. I'm right. this other person. Oh, someone else was supposed to be here instead yep. of her. Yep. Gradually, it's revealed that he um, hired her as an escort because you he you can't be a solo right. unless you're Ray finds this drunk mom. You can't be a solo. You have to bring somebody. And so I think when Ray finds had been, we find out had been emailing him right. for months saying, right. you can come to my thing for free, but um, I will be murdering everyone. That's right. So you can eat. That's right. You can eat and experience all of my food, but I will be murdering yeah, everyone right. at the end of the dinner, and I am fully serious. And so, not only was he willing to take his girlfriend, that's true, to be killed. Yeah, he was willing to pay a escort, escort to, to be killed. Yes, just so, so that he could eat the dinner. Just so that he could eat that's the fair. dinner. So, that's true. So that's fuck, true. You're right. So You're right. Him. I forgot about that. I yeah. forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. Because for a long time, I was like, but I kind of like him, and I'm into it. Like he just wants to be there and taste the food. I'm on board with it. Yeah, he's stupid, but like, whatever. He's just super into the food. Is that tarragon? Yes, it is. Is this bergamot I'm getting, chef? Yes, it is. <laughs> and John Leguizamo's assistant was like, when Ray Fiennes goes, oh, so what school did you go to? And she's like, brown. And he goes, student loans? No. You're dead. Yeah. <laughs> Once you realized he had just flipped yeah. Flipped a switch and right. was there was no reasoning, there was no That's true. Okay. He lost his damn mind and <laughs> was just I, this is what he was gonna and he needed to follow through with his plan. And so once you kind of got to there, it became funnier. Yeah, that's fair. That's true. When Ray Pines said that he was from Iowa, I laughed so <laughs> fucking hard and I don't know if that was a joke. <laughs> when I was growing up a child in Waterloo, Iowa. Tuesday was taco night. I was like, I'm so sorry, excuse me, what? Was that the accent that was happening? And because it was in and out, yeah. it was in and out. And at first I thought, oh, he's just being a chef, he's being like, right. 
I'm continental. I don't know where my accent mm. is from. But then when he was like, when I grew up in Iowa, and I was like, no, what? Waterloo, Iowa. What? What? No. Is this a fake backstory? What? Or is it a fake persona of what he had to put on in order to a double, achieve double, fake, and, fake. and succeed? Very tar. Yes. You know, what about Beethoven? You into him? So yes, we get um, this the fanciest uh, restaurant, the fanciest yes. restaurant. You have to go to an island, get there, yeah. and they grow all their own vegetables, and they slaughter their own meat, and they, and they sleep go for their there. Own food, and they, yeah, oh my god. And yes, chef, and only yeah. chef sleeps in there. We sleep in this fucking dormitory, and we. <laughs> also, I love the. What what are these tortillas? Tortillas. These are tortillas. Tortillas deliciosas. Yeah. So what what are these? These are tortillas. Oh my god, the tortilla scene. Delicious. I was dying. Yeah. So it becomes more and more absurd as the the, the, yeah. the first course is sort of normal. But yeah. but 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 yeah. to the bread course. Ever. Oh my god, there's no bread in the bread course. What? Oh my god! Like everyone has lost their minds that there is no bread in the bread course. But we can just get some bread, right? right. Like, blah, blah, blah. So there's the bread course with no bread. It's getting more and more absurd. And then the tortilla, the tortillas of truth. Right. And they have laser, laser printed, burned in. These are tortillas, which contain Echo Bright's tax records and other documents showing how your company has created invoices with fake charges. And they have the husband cheating on That's right. the wife, oh my like, God. P pictures of, you know, yes. and Nicholas Holt right then he, taking pictures of, like, currently, like, like oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> The tortilla thing really got me. I was like, what is this? <laughs> I can't. Yeah. These are tortillas. Something that wasn't successful for me was the mm. big, fancy, rich guy that the three other yeah. people are yeah. sort of saying, well, we work for... Trevor, Terrence, something. sure, whatever. We work for so and so, but 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 we're fancy. You can't. We're untouchable because we work for so and so. That whole thing with him and the wings and drowning outside the window. Oh, that right. didn't work for me. No, it didn't work because we had never met him. It wasn't quite over the top enough. Like in some ways, it was. Yes, of course, it was theatrical. He had angel wings on, which I guess is supposed to be ironic. And then they drown him, but it's always from afar. We never. I didn't have enough there there for, i didn't know why that then sure and it wasn't a course no like, had it been like and we're going to use the water he was drowned in to be rinsing <laughs> your pasta sure. and the pasta water will then be like give me something sure um that, yes because that was so separate yeah i um, like that right 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 oh the sea water <laughs> is used to make the the tofu you know set and also that seawater is the water that he drowned in. Of course. Of course. The broken emulsion that just, they kept bringing her bigger. That's right. And bigger tubs of broken bigger. emulsion. That one's, and this one, that <laughs> really made me laugh. Yeah. I did probably identify with the food critics a little too much. There's a neediness to the plating, you know? I mean, it's been too to fuck, but the flavors are there. It's very clean. It's very, um, thalassic. That's what I mean. Like, I think because of certain like i think this was it was so true right the satire was slightly lost on us <laughs> maybe just slightly and yeah. that's fine sure i thought that sommelier was really making me laugh like, this is just a hint of sadness and regret not just a single vineyard a single row of vines wow it's magical perfect we hyper decanted it with an immersion blender to awaken it from its slumber faint sense of longing and regret. The biodynamic flavors of like, he was doing so much. It was, was really I making me laugh. just watching or something where someone was like, oh, it's the type of place where they'd have a water sommelier. <laughs> they should have had a water sommelier. And I was like, that's a read. That would have been great in this movie. They should have had a water sommelier. Yes. It would have been so good. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Did you think, well, okay, so it gets, it goes from broken emulsions to um, ritual suicides. And, right. and uh, this scene was so intense. He's just like telling him like, you, but you'll never be as good as I'll be. And they put down the tarp and oh, yeah. shoots himself. Yeah. I thought this could have been um, switched. So this scene is, is the first big like, holy fucking shit, right? So one of the sous chefs shoots himself. He's the next course. He yeah. shoots himself in the head. It's intense. Yeah. And everyone freaks out, rightly so. And then the next course, I think, or one of the next courses is the the woman who Oh, everyone dying was my pitch actually. Super proud of it. 
she was like, it was my idea to kill everyone at the end. Oh, that right. That lady. Right. Who, did you think she stabbed him in the dick? Because I thought she stabbed him in the dick, but then it was just in the thigh. <laughs> she I mean, gives a whole speech about how, like, he tried to get her to sleep with him over and over, and she wouldn't leave him alone, and then da 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 and he's... So then it was, like, in the dick. And so I her. thought she was going to stab him right in that dick. Didn't happen. She stabs him, and... That's kind of the only violence that happens in that course. Okay, sure. I thought they should have switched those. The escalate. Have it escalate. I um, also just like, yeah, maybe you're right because for me, like once that him happened, shooting himself, I was, like, I was like, this is a lot. I was like, and oh. hard for me to get into the logic of just like, oh yeah, it's a cult and they're just in a death cult. They're just cool with killing themselves. Like that requires right. me to have bought into the cult of personality mm. of Ray Fiennes a lot more than I ever did. I'm he, from Iowa. Well, right. He just always seemed like a villain. And maybe it's because I knew, like, the tra you know, I'd seen the trailer and whatever, and I knew what the premise was. Evident. Oh, of right, course. Yeah. But I was just like, so it's like, okay, but he's such a villain. Yeah. That Or whatever. He a, was a, sort of a delightful villain. He was, but but it never drew me in where I was like, you know what, maybe he's right. It was no, always, no, 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 like, no. honestly, I kind of was more, maybe he was right with Thanos than I was yeah. with Ray Fiennes. And I feel like it's an easier walk for him to be like, well, they decided they wanted to do this. It was their idea to, to go along with it, to everyone kill themselves. No, he, I was just going to kill. You were trying to add logic to it. He lost his damn mind. But he couldn't have lost his damn mind because he took so long to methodically it was it's hard everything. for me to and convince everyone to go along with it. Why the staff deserve to die? Because in his mind, everyone had to die in order for there to be no no loose. Well, right. So everyone had there was a, he had planned the menu so meticulously. Every single person that was at the dinner yep. had there was a reason. At least Ray Fiennes felt they yep. needed to die. Yeah. Why did he feel like his staff needed to die? Because they'd all be witnesses. Because they just worship him. So, and they worship at his right? altar. So okay. it became a, a suicide murder cult. It was a little rough. But, it was a um, little... That's what I'm saying. But there was... there. Was, but then, you know, there's... Is it Anna or Anya Taylor-Joy? I don't remember. I don't know. I thought it was Anna Taylor-Joy. Well, her... Yeah. She's great. Yeah. I thought they handled, like, all the stuff with her being an escort... So casually, mm -hmm. I really liked it. Sure. You know, it wasn't boo, shame Right, on no, you. no, no, no. It wasn't, <gasps> Right. What? Yeah. I'm scandalized. Right. Oh, I'm scandalized. <laughs> and she didn't feel shame about it. No. This was her job. Yeah. And like when she's explaining like how she knows that rich, was it a senator? Judith Light is in this oh, movie. Yeah. And I was like, oh Judith God, Light right? and Judith Light's hair that has not changed since who's the boss. <laughs> Senator, a really, really rich guy, and yeah. his wife, and they clearly know each other, you know, and right. we're just sort of casually explaining, like, yeah, you know, it was pretty weird. He had me, he jerked off while he had me make eye contact with him while I agreed with everything he said and pretended to be his daughter. And it was just like, but the way it was just sort of like, right. that was a weird thing that happened. And Ray Fiennes is like, yeah, that yeah, makes, that yeah. tracks, yeah. yeah. Um, so anyway, you know, that's why he has to die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wild stuff. I did hate the score. Didn't care for it. Yeah. Big dramatic things are happening. Mm. <laughs> I didn't care for the score. I think with a more punchy kind of sure something some uh, some point of view score. I think could have really. I t I can't express how much I feel like scores and sound design are missing in yeah. modern a lot of modern movies yeah. these days. You need sound is so important to convey things that your mind doesn't realize it's taking in. True. And it's such a great way to show, not tell, yeah. to show your ears and your brain, oh, it's okay to laugh at this moment because we did this little kind of trick yep. with it, did it, whatever. Yeah, we, we let off on the, the seriousness so or whatever. so important with comedy. And um, so I thought the, set, the, the score was boring. Yeah, Didn't I get care that. for it. Um, and this was a, a solid B for me, and I just felt like it was really close to it could have been an A. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just like, oh gosh, you guys almost yeah, had I didn't, it. Yeah, it wasn't perfect, but I did like a lot. I mean, those, two, those tortillas. These are tortillas. Oh my God. It really, really I was me. like, yeah. I was yeah. losing it. There was a lot of like iconography again. You know, yeah, like, yeah, there yeah. was moments where I was like, oh, that's pretty great. Yeah. And then a lot of it just didn't work for me. Yeah. Mostly in the logic of it all. I, and I think that's, I, I totally hear you. I think that's what they wanted you to just kind of go with it. I know, I get that. It's just yeah. when you have set up already that he's meticulously planned every entire aspect of it, then 
you can't just have me be like, oh, and his reasons are, meh. he wanted to, and everyone went along with it and said, yeah, we'll kill ourselves. That's fine. He was I, so it, mad at Margot. Really, you are not a Margot. I have served plenty of Margots, and that is not your name. <laughs> Was good. So I would say yes, it's very, very good. Yeah. But also go watch Exterminating Angel. Okay, yeah. Love it. Makes me want a hamburger real bad. Cheeseburger real bad. <laughs> yeah, real bad. Cheers. <laughs>